this May is a crazy time because of the whole COVID-19 virus situation. In celebration of Mental Health Awareness Month, I put together a list of quick fixes that have helped me lift my mood in the past. My name is Ali and welcome to Ali Inspires, a channel dedicated to helping high achievers work through any mental health disorders to get to their highest levels of success and fulfillment. As a success-driven person, you're probably looking to maximize your time, so I've put together some recommendations that are both entertaining and a lot of fun to consume, but also full of perspective. These are mostly just like movies and books. A lot of the times we are going to be diving deeper than just kind of band-aid solutions or quick fix solutions, but it's still always important to have a personal toolkit of easily accessible things that kind of just make you feel better or serve as a nice little distraction. We all need a break every once in a while, and if right now you don't have the energy to be working super actively on recovery, I think some of these recommendations can help you at least distract yourself and get in a better mood. So I have my iPad here, so if I'm looking down, I'm just kind of going through the list of recommendations that I have on here. So starting with TV shows, these TV shows are really great for expanding your perspective on life, on reality, and sometimes even on mental health disorders. The first show is The Midnight Gospel, and this is a cartoon that just came out on Netflix. It's super creative, and the characters discuss a lot of different principles and theories. So in the episodes that I've watched, they've discussed meditation, afterlife. I think there's some perspective that you can gain going through these episodes. There's a series called Explained on Netflix, but recently I found that there's a sub-series called The Mind Explained, and that one is focusing on human behavior and neuroscience. If you want to learn more about how your mind works, I would definitely recommend checking out that docuseries. The more you know, the generally better off you are. Taking some time to learn more about how your mind works or learning about these different disorders is a great investment of your time. I'm also throwing Friends on the list. It's an old school sitcom. That show always does a great job of making me feel better, happier in the moment. In terms of movies, some movies that I think are uplifting or will make you look a little closer at the world around you and be a little more more present are Lady Bird and Studio Ghibli Hayao Miyazaki movies, My Neighbor Totoro, Whisper of the Heart, Ponyo. I like those movies because they all have elements of slice of life. When I watch those movies, I gain a little more appreciation for the little details of my day that are all around me. I'm also throwing Ocean's Eleven on the list because it's so larger than life and action packed that I think it makes for a really great distraction and might boost your energy a bit because it's so dynamic. A recent movie that I really liked is Where Do You Go Bernadette? I love it because Kate Blanchett is in it. She's played characters with all different kinds of life situations. A lot of her movies are kind of more on the depressing side, but I love this movie and I think it has a very uplifting message. Definitely recommend checking out Where Do You Go Bernadette. I would also suggest Marvel movies if you're looking for a distraction because these are also larger than life. They're very colorful, dramatic, and they've got superheroes and villains in it. It's a great series to distract distract you and give you a sort of movie theater like experience at home. There's three books that I want to recommend. My first recommendation and what I think is one of the core books that you should read for doing inner work is The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. This book has sold millions of copies and changed thousands of people's lives. And although the wording itself is very simple and almost conversational, the meaning and the teachings are so deep and profound. So I would definitely recommend this book if you're looking to improve your mood. I'm also going to be talking about a lot of these teachings in later videos. The second book is A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki. This book is about a young Japanese girl and her Zen Buddhist grandmother or great-great-grandmother. The interesting thing about this book is that it also focuses on presence and being conscious of this moment in time. They refer to it as a superpower. Um, when you're reading this, I think you can get really immersed in this girl's world and her story, and it's very interesting, and also has a lot of really profound concepts and experiences. Two YouTube channels that I personally love and have guided me to do a lot of inner work are Tim Ferriss's channel and Quasi's channel. And I'll link them down below. I just found recently that I also really like is Anna Psychology. There's a lot of topics really relevant to mental health and pop culture on her channel. 
tea can also be very soothing and therapeutic. I'm also going to recommend a few flavors of tea. I would recommend lavender, chamomile, rosehip, or peppermint tea. You can sip on some tea while you're watching these movies or reading through some of these books. Tea is a great way to get more water in your system. Lavender, rosehip, chamomile, and peppermint teas are all decaf. They're great to boost your hydration levels for the day, and they also won't be keeping you up at night. Then to close this video off, I want to share a couple of instant quick fixes to help you start feeling better within minutes. The first is a breathing method called the box method, and you basically breathe in for four seconds and then you hold your breath for four seconds and then you breathe out for four seconds and then you hold that breath for another four seconds. So repeat this method a couple of times and you'll be feeling better within minutes. For those of you who meditate that's a great quick fix and it'll help you feel better instantly but for those of you who have not done meditation in the past or aren't very experienced at meditating I would recommend a meditation app like Calm or Headspace and just jumping on one of those to do a quick five or ten minute meditation. Those are my recommendations for uplifting your mood, helping you have a better day, and or distracting you from any of the things that might be bothering you, while also expanding your perspective and providing some entertainment. If you're finding these videos helpful, don't forget to subscribe before you go. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.